So Spirit told me that the symbol of week four is the mirror. And so when we think about a mirror, what do we think about? We think about the fact that we can see ourselves, it's all about reflection. Uh, and then taking it a little bit further, it's really about magnification as well. Glass intensifies and it focuses beams through it. And so what that really means is that this week was all about seeing ourselves from a different perspective, perhaps with a greater sense of clarity, but that magnification or that amplification was really going to bring about an emphasis to perhaps change things that we didn't maybe like about ourselves or habits or behaviors or patterns that we very consciously participated in previously. And so this week was forcing us to really take a little bit of a difficult look at what needed to change and then possibly do something about it. And of course, it probably wasn't the case that you were going to do something about it this week, but learning that and then doing something about it for the next week. That's the whole point of it. Okay, so let's have a look at the cards that we got for the week. So very first card at the start of the week was Vision Gate. Whenever Vision Gate is present, it means that the focus is going to be set around anything to do with our intuition, our capacity to see the universe and the world clearly, and really through a perspective of a spiritual understanding. So I call the Vision Gate what other people call the Third Eye Chakra, because it's that sense of a gate, and it's all about vision. It's about how to see, both literally sometimes, but more so metaphorically in terms of whether or not we're able to see the subtle things, the things that are behind the scenes, the sort of universal flow or the current that rules everything, the underlying issues that are going on. And so Vision Gate at the start of the week was really setting the tone that this entire week was going to be focused on how we see things and whether or not we're going to see them from a greater perspective and more so divine clarity. Next card. So next card is Cancerian. And whenever Cancerian's card is present, it means that there's going to be a bit more of a focus or tuning into aspects of the sign Cancer. And Spirit was really showing me that this as a theme for that day was really about that capacity of like feeling things and then having issues with the fact that we were feeling things and then finding a really happy balance of how I feel things, if it's okay to feel things, and that it's then okay to be able to express how I feel without exploding on people. And this isn't specific to Cancerian. It was just the fact that that was the vibe that I was getting on that particular day about that particular thing. So personally, it's all about how I feel things, if I'm able to understand what I'm feeling, and then that I'm giving myself the permission to be able to express how I feel without repressing it until a point that I have to explode to get across how I feel. Next card, so next card is number four. Whenever number four is present, it denotes the presence of angels. And so this is really affirming and confirming and supportive and nice and really necessary message at the middle of the week because it was really Spirit's way of saying that the angels are with us even though this week was going to be about hardcore reflection and seeing things we potentially didn't want to see all for the purpose of developing. The angels were letting us know that they were there, are there, and will be there for us. We just really need to get into the habit of speaking to them and really engaging in dialogue and welcoming them into our reality. And once we do that, we'll really start to notice that presence and notice the help. Next card of the elementals. Whenever this card is present, it means that we're going to be tuning into aspects of a soul nature that liken themselves to elementals. Elementals can be spirits of fire, earth, wind, or water. And so when it comes down to these types of energies, it's really the most raw aspect of those things. So fire, for example, is impetuous, it's impatient, but it's creative and it's dynamic and it, it causes life. Water is emotional, it's sensitive. It's, it flows, but it can be deep. And air is all about thought, can't be held down, all about intelligence, but often can't ground itself in anything physical because it's so intangible. And earth, of course, is all about stability and loyalty and being reliable and sometimes stubborn and stuck. And when we understand which element we personally come from in terms of which is our preference or our dominant energy, then we can understand what particular lesson we need to adopt personally to adjust and evolve. And so this card coming up that day was really tuning into that element of the elemental which gets so bored. It doesn't want to be stuck where it is. It really wants to propel itself forward. It wants to be 
sort of giving itself a little bit of a kick up the ass and saying you could be doing so much more in this particular moment yet I feel a little bit stuck and so I'm going to give you some a little bit of inner turmoil or inner angst about it and that could have taken you into the inner critic which is just being far too hard on yourself so spirit was really saying that yeah it's good to be inspired and want to be driven to do particular things but don't let that sort of push you into that sense of you're behind and if you don't keep on going you're going to be left behind and that's all going to be your fault all of those types of energies can come from a really dominant presence of an elemental force it was just important to take the seeds that work for you but don't adopt any of the negative habits or behaviors next card so this card is gay whenever the gay card comes up it means that this particular day is going to be focused around themes of gay it could have been that you were spending time with a gay person it could have been that there were gay topics coming to mind you could have been working on anything to do with the topic of gay bi trans etc so what that really means though if it wasn't that specific it really comes down to I'm going to learn how to let people live in ways that are different to myself and I'm going to encourage that because variety is really what makes earth interesting and also we're not here to live the same experience we're really here to experience whatever we choose not whatever someone else has chosen for us and so not only is that about personal understanding, it's really about the capacity to share that as a truth, both very actively, but then passively as well. It's not about jamming this down someone's throat, it's more so about creating a space where there's not even a need for such discussion. Instead, it's really just about creating an environment where everything is open and there's no need for labels or boxes. Next card, so this card coming up is Great Friends, and Great Friends always comes up whenever we probably need a little bit of a reminder to have a look at who we're spending time with, who we're investing our time and energy on, and making sure that those people are balanced and fair, and whether or not they give back to us exactly what we're giving. And if they're not, perhaps it's a little bit of a sign that you need to do a little bit of perhaps spring cleaning and create some space for new people to come into your life that are going to match who you are and what you're about. Don't spend time feeling angsty or caught up or down about people that aren't investing time in you. It's really just a waste of your time and your energy. And not only that, it can be a little bit of the vein of the victim complaining about someone instead of just not spending time with them and creating space for someone new to come because that's what you deserve. So last card for the week is this is what you asked for. So really this is Spirit's way of wrapping up the week and saying that everything that you've experienced throughout the week was incomplete and utter response to something that you've requested, prayed or feared about. And that's an important thing to get because what it means is Spirit's way of saying that if you are unhappy with anything, all you really needed to do is now just start changing what you're thinking about and what you're fearing about and what you're obsessing about. Put it into a little bit of a different context and creating something that you really want to be a part of or be connected to. Don't get stuck in feeling as though you have no power because that again is all about the victim and the spirit wants you to know that you are the one at the very forefront of what you're creating. So perhaps it's time to start having a look in that mirror and really analyzing deeply even if it's uncomfortable and seeing what components of you are creating these elements that aren't pleasurable for you and then throughout the course of this week do something to change them because you deserve to have a life that matches what you want to be about. So there were the cards of the week and as I said the symbol of the week is all about the mirror so really take that in hand and in mind and really think about what elements of myself and how I act and how I interact and what I'm chasing possibly aren't working for me and yeah it may be a very uncomfortable pill to swallow but I'm gonna do something about it now so that I can change the course of this year coming because instead of feeling down about it and feeling hard about it and then giving myself a hard time and tuning into that inner critic I'm instead gonna do something different and I'm gonna change the pattern and I'm gonna force myself to be in a different way than what I typically would and that's gonna be the space where amazing things can really happen for you so there were the cards of the week for you uh, if you like this video please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and in the comments down below let me know what lessons and messages and understand you got about yourself this week in the comments down below and if you haven't already please subscribe to this channel so that you receive every video that I release each week 
And if you're not following me on social medias, make sure that you're following me on Instagram. On Instagram, you get the God of the Day. And then on Twitter, you get the Mantra of the Day. And then on Facebook, of course, you get every single card that we've been talking about here. And then later in the day, you also get Amusing of the Day, which is really my reflection of the card and the messages and energies that I've observed throughout the day. So thank you so much for watching. And as I like to say, may the magic always find you. being the spirit animal of one of your favorite YouTubers, Tyler Oakley. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the process of how I pick